Hey everybody, it's Boomer. I've decided to go ahead and do a gold guide for you guys out there in the interweb. Uh, we're gonna do this in five minutes because I don't have time to waste and neither do you. So let's go ahead and get this over with. Cue the intro. First up is the Polymorph Polar Bear Cub. This is a mage-specific tome that you can get in the game. It's actually found in Northrend. All you have to do, as you can see, it's worth quite a bit of gold if you can farm some of these up. So all you got to do, fly up to Northrend, fly around in this general area here shown on the map, kill these grizzlies, and hope one of them drops. The drop rate is kind of steep. I'm going to warn you about that one. Next up, Demon Scale Basilisk Sky. As you can see on my auction house for my server, there's not very many, so it is worth a lot. This is still in demand even today in Shadowlands. So head out to Outland, go to the little lake outside of Shatrath, and you're going to go around this little lake killing these little basilisks the drop rate for these eyes is pretty good so you can probably within five or ten minutes get yourself up a good stack of uh 40 to 60 super super easy throw those up on the auction house and you're good to go next up is fell cloth this is a high demand item that is really actually kind of hard to get there's only a few places you can get this, so we're going to head out to Zanger Marsh and go to the north, which side? Left-hand side of the map. Who cares? Go around, kill these imps, get fell cloth. Super easy. Demand on auction house. Enough said. Moving on. Next up is going to be the thin jelly that you can farm out of Stormsong Valley in the upper deck. This is used for reputation to be able to get the Honeyback Harvester mount. This is an Alliance only mount, but we're not concerned about that right now. What you want to do is go around and get these jellies and throw them up on the auction house for a good bit of gold. Uh, these are still in pretty high demand because it does lead to a mount. Uh, if you go and kill the Honey Smasher once a day, he drops some jellies. And also, there's plenty to find on the ground if you just fly around for uh, 30, 40 minutes a day. Super, super easy grind and uh, to make some gold. So there you go. Although, while doing this jelly farm is extremely tedious, it is going to take advantage of all the extremely lazy people out there that are just unwilling to farm this themselves and take advantage of them. Shit! Next is Volatile Water. Uh, head out to the Twilight Highlands and kill the elementals in this area. Also good to throw up on the auction house for some extra G. All right, last but not least, here is a foolproof way of getting some gold in World of Warcraft, and it's guaranteed to get you over 100K every single time. that's my video thanks for watching i hope you find this guide useful don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button on the channel it'd be greatly appreciated and help me out remember i stream on twitch every tuesday thursday and friday 